Our report is unique in the market, and this year is even more comprehensive, drawing on data from over a thousand deals from across the globe. DLA Piper consistently does more deals globally than any other law firm, and we act for the full range of buyers, sellers, and sponsors. This gives us better insight than any other law firm into understanding what is market and how the deal type, process, party, and geography have an impact. We use this knowledge every day to help our clients do deals on better terms. We entered 2016 full of optimism from 2015, which was itself the best year for deals since 2007. As it turned out, 2016 was a mixed year for deals. Momentum from 2015 continued into the start of the year, but several local and global headwinds caused things to slow particularly in the second quarter. Something changed in Q3. In Europe, people started to realize they would need to live with the uncertainty of Brexit for a long time, so they stopped using it as a reason not to do things. In the US, occupation of the White House was settled and with it, deal momentum increased with 2016 finishing extremely strongly. Our report has some key themes that reflect this global context. The auction remains the choice of exit process for many sellers, particularly private equity, in Europe and North America. The data again shows very clearly that an auction process drives better deal terms for the seller. We saw the prevalence of the auction process increase beyond Europe. Whilst larger deals are more likely to be done by auction, auctions are now more commonly used in smaller deals. Interestingly, we saw an increase in the proportion of broken auctions in Europe, which is perhaps reflective of the general market uncertainty during 2016. Geography has a material impact on what is market. Whilst there is a degree of convergence, particularly within Europe, there remain some terms which are very specific to local markets. The locked box mechanism is a good example of this and is now almost as common in continental Europe as it is in the UK, a significant change on prior years. The major geographical distinction remains between North American deal terms and those everywhere else. For example, North American buyers obtain better protections between signing and closing. North American commercial warranty caps are typically a lower percentage of the purchase price often supported by a closing escrow. North American sellers accept a lower claims threshold. It is still a good time to be a seller, although there is evidence of a slight hardening of some markets. Overall, deal terms for sellers remain very favorable, particularly when they sell in an auction process, but some key seller metrics, such as the average length of a warranty claim period, have been pushed out compared to last year's data. The growth of insurance as the primary recourse for warranties has improved a lot of sellers even more with buy-side policies being seen in over a quarter of deals above 50 million euros. If the deal terms tell us anything about the market, they tell us that there is strong competition for good assets and savvy sellers use this to get very favorable sale terms.